Let's perform a small experiment. Take some copper powder in a china dish and heat it. After some time, you will notice that the surface of the copper powder turns black. Why does that happen? It's because the surface of the copper powder gets coated with black cupric oxide, which is also written as copper 2 oxide. How is it formed? Copper reacts with the oxygen in the air to form cupric oxide. This cupric oxide is black in colour and hence the surface turns black. Now if we pass hydrogen gas over this heated material, the black coating turns brown. Amazing, isn't it? What's the chemical reaction that takes place? It's this one. It's a reverse reaction as copper is obtained back. Hence the black coating turns brown again. Now look at this reaction closely. Hydrogen is gaining oxygen and cupric oxide is losing oxygen. If a substance gains oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be oxidized. And if a substance loses oxygen in a reaction, it is said to be reduced. So in this reaction, one reactant is gaining oxygen while other is getting reduced. Such reactions are called oxidation reduction reactions or redox reactions. Now you know that the name of the reaction itself is self-explanatory. Oxidation and reduction. Here's another example of an oxidation reduction reaction. Carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide and zinc oxide is reduced to zinc. Speaking about oxidation, have you observed its effects in everyday life? Tell us in the comment section below. And to know more, do watch our next video.